Ali Mahfoudullah. I'd like to uh, welcome you all to the uh, first lecture on week uh, 13 of uh, ICS 104. Uh, any questions before we proceed, yes, Shabab? Okay, very good. So, no more questions. So let's uh, let me share then the screen. Okay. So basically, um, uh, last uh, Tuesday, uh, and by the way, today is Tuesday, huh? <laughs> Uh, last Tuesday, we um, uh, we the, the last thing that we did was we looked at the uh, selection statement in uh, in C, and uh, we saw that um, uh, you know we saw again uh, that Python uses uh, indentation uh, to indicate a block of statement uh, uh, to indicate a block of statement, but as an optional thing, right? And uh, no. Python uses indentation to indicate a block of statement, but C uh, uses the curly braces, right? C uses the curly braces. Uh, uh, so what, what is this indentation? Well, this is optional in C, okay? The indentation is optional in C. This is just to, uh, you know, increase the readability of, uh, uh, of the code, okay? So, so indentation is highly recommended uh, in, in C. It is highly recommended in Python, it's a must. In Python, it's a must. And we see here, for example, an example of an if, if statement uh, that has its uh, its body is basically a block of uh, two statements. You know, z equal twelve and w equal thirteen. And we see here that we have uh, 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 a couple of you know uh, uh, relational operations: uh, x less than equal to five, y not equal to seven. And then a logical operator, the logical operator and, which is inshallah what we will uh, go over very quickly in, uh, uh, when, when we talk about relational operators and logical operators in, in C. Right. So now uh, 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 look at the relational operators in C and tell me, uh, is there any difference uh, from Python? No. There is no difference, huh? You know, less than or equal, less than, greater than or equal, greater than, and then uh, equality, and then not equal. So it is basically uh, exactly the same. Is it? It is exactly the same. Now, in the logical operators, now we will uh, see some kind of a difference, right? So we we use the exclamation mark you know, for the logical not. And then we have the uh, uh, two ampersands, you know, to denote the logical and, and two uh, uh, vertical strokes uh, to indicate the, to indicate the or, to indicate the logical, the logical or. Uh, somebody might ask, why did we use two instead of one? Because one is actually used for uh, bit, uh, 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 at the bit level, okay? Uh, so if, if you want to do bitwise and or bitwise or, you use the single and and the single or, but this is this is beyond our scope, okay? This is beyond our scope. So these are uh, the logical operators. These are the um, uh, relational relational operators. Okay. So let's uh, uh, let's take a small exercise here. Uh, assume that uh, we have, you know, these variables, salary, ch uh, uh, 1050, children, 6, temperature, 38.2, humidity, 0.85, and N, which is equal to 101. Let us see now these logical expressions, and let's see, you know, what are the value of these logical expressions. So let's start with the first one. Salary less than 1000 or children greater than 4. This is true or false? True. True. Why? Children is uh, equal six and six is greater than four. And six is greater than four. So this is uh, true. 
And I'm not going to write true all the way. I'm just going to write T or F. Uh, F. So, yeah, second one. Temperature is greater than 35. And humidity is greater than 0.9. False. False. Because of? Uh, temperature. Because of the temperature? Humidity. Less humidity temperature is less. 38.2 is greater than 35. So this is true, صح? Like in the humidity, 0.85 is not greater than 0.9. Okay. Right. Like N greater than or equal to 0 and N less than or equal to 100. False. False. Again, false. Because 101 is not less than or equal to 100. So yeah, finally, not, and then between brackets, n greater than or equal to 0 and n less than or equal to 100. False and then true. False and then true, yani two, uh, two values. No, I wish you yani false, but then will not say true. The, 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 the whole expression is true, right? Now, if you are talking about the way to evaluate it, yes. Uh, in fact, we evaluated in the previous line. N greater than or equal to zero and N less than or equal to 100 is already, we, we know already it is false. So, so when you look at this one, uh, all what you need to do is just say not false. Well, what is not false? Okay, not false is true. And as you can see, these are, these are the values. Now note here, that for the value, for true, I put one, and for false, I put zero. Okay, now why is that? Well, it turns out that C does not have a Boolean type like Python. Does not have a Boolean type. Results of logical expressions are either zero, which means false, or one, which means true. Okay, so zero refers to false, one refers to true. In fact, it's a little bit more general than this. Any non-zero value is considered to be true. Any non-zero value is considered to be is considered to be true. For example, if we take this code, in fact, let us take this code and let us go and run it on the um, uh, on our uh, C compiler. Okay, right. So now, uh, uh, who can tell me what is the result of one plus two? Three. 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 Well, the result is three. It's not one. The result is three. Yet, yet, uh, we will see whether this print if statement will print or no. Well, one plus two is true. The value of the condition one plus two equals three is is what? Well, one plus two is equal to three. Well, this is true, sir. This should be this should be true. Five. Right. Uh, one minus one. What is the value of one minus one? Zero. Zero. Now, in this case, we should not see this print if statement. Why? Because zero is considered false. Any non-zero is considered true. Any non-zero is considered. So let's try. Uh, let's let's run this code. F9. See, as you can see, uh, one plus two is true. The value of the condition one plus two is equal to three. The value of the condition is one. صح? But one plus two on its own, which is the three here, was also considered the true. Was also considered. Okay, so in, in, in C, um, uh, uh, any logical op uh, operation, uh, uh, a true value returns one, non uh, false value returns, returns zero. Right. Now, any expression or any value that is not zero is considered true. So if it was put in a condition, that condition will evaluate the true. C Python, Victor. Huh? C Python. Say that again. Uh, 
زي بايثون الاف ستيتمنت ريمبر ان بايثون اف وي هاف لايك امتي سترينج اور زيرو اور زيرو فلوت مينز ذات ات از فولس يس بس وي 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 نيد تو اي نيد تو فيريفاي اي دونت وونت تو ساي اني ثينج ذات اي ام نوت شور اوف احنا وي اوريدي نو ذات ذير از You know, um, uh, a Boolean type in in uh, in Python, صح? Yes. In Python, we already have uh, true false in Python. Okay. Uh, I'll 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 check it and I will uh, and I will let you know. Okay. Also, doctor, uh, do C language have short circuit evaluation? Uh, in, yes, I think it does. But I don't know if we we are going to take it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Uh, doctor. Yes. Can we use use the result uh, the uh, one or zero from the logical operator as an or in arithmetic expression? Oh, that's a good. Uh, That's a good question, and uh, I don't see why not. So, for example, uh, if we say int uh, k here, and let's say k equals uh, one plus two equals three. Okay. And uh, the value of let's make this k is and let's put k here. Let's see what happens. F nine. Yes. The value of k uh, is. Yeah. Or. Uh... I, so we can, for example, make uh, that k, k plus one, k plus two, like yes, that. Yes, ah. yes, it's, okay. it's an integer. I, I mean, this is an integer value one. I assigned it to an integer variable k. I can do whatever I want with k. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Right. So th this is the um, the precedence of the various operators in uh, C from highest to lowest. So the highest are uh, function calls. Function, function calls are uh, ha have highest precedence, followed by the unary operators, uh, not plus, minus, and uh, the ampersand or the address, the reference. And then we have the multiplication, division, and mod. Uh, then we have the addition and uh, subtraction. And then we have the relational operators, Uh, uh, less than, less than or equal, greater than, equal, and greater than, the same uh, precedence. And then we have the relational operators equal and not equal. They have lesser precedence than, you know, the, the previous ones. And then we have the logical and, logical or, and finally, we have the, 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 the smallest is basically the assignment operator. Okay, the, the, the lowest precedence is the assignment, is the assignment. Uh, operator. So if we um, if we look at this expression here, uh, uh, not flag or y plus z greater than or equal to x minus z. Uh, if I want to evaluate this expression, then all what I have to all what I have to do is first of all let me parenthesize it right to determine which one has higher precedence. So Uh, uh, first of all, uh, let's consider what's in between brackets. Uh, we have addition. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, what you call uh, uh, subtraction, and we have greater than or equal. So, which one has higher precedence within this um, uh, within this uh, these brackets? Addition. Addition and subtraction. Hey, hey, shabab. Addition and subtraction have higher precedence over the relational operators. So this means that uh, uh, I will first 
you know, I will parenthesize. I will parenthesize the addition and the subtraction. Uh, this one is for the uh, for the first one. OK. OK, right. I have an or and I have a not and then I have a not flag here. So which one will be evaluated first? Not evaluated, I mean, in parenthesization, uh, uh, which one has higher precedence? Not. Oh, the not, صح? the not. So, so basically it will look like this. Okay, it will look like, it will look like this. Uh, now, so, Doctor. Now. The not داخلة في the unary operators? Yes, hey. Okay. Okay. So, so not flag. So this will be evaluated first. And then we have the or. Since this is not ready yet, we're not going to evaluate the or. And then uh, we are going to evaluate the addition. And then we are going to evaluate the subtraction. So I will see not flag, then the addition, then the subtraction. Then we will evaluate the relational operator greater than or equal. Um, uh, this will give us one. Now, now, once we have that, now I have the uh, uh, not flag and the one, and I will get one. Okay, I will get one. Now, if uh, if there was short circuit evaluation uh, for the OR, uh, if there were short, short circuit evaluation of the OR, uh, once you evaluate the not zero, which is one, I don't have to evaluate the uh, this part, صح ولا لا؟ صحيح. Okay. But anyways, this is basically to show, you know, uh, how this is evaluated uh, in general. Okay. Bye. Uh, any question before we proceed? Okay. Hi, do you remember this example, yeah, Shabab? Single, if income is less than or equal to 32,000, then he is in the 10% bracket. Otherwise, 25%. Uh, and then if it's false, if the income is less than or equal to 64,000, then uh, we will get 10% uh, of uh, the sixty-four percent, other than twenty-five percent of, um, uh, uh, otherwise it will be in the twenty-five. Uh, it will be in the twenty-five percent, right? So uh, you will you will take the ten percent of uh, the sixty-four thousand plus, and then you will take twenty-five percent of uh, the re the remaining, right? Uh, uh, the total minus the sixty-four thousand, and similarly for similarly for this. Now, uh, what I would like you to do is I would like you to spend a couple of minutes. Uh, you have the uh, uh, you have the code here. Uh, this is the code. This is, by the way, uh, the code which is kind of uh, similar to or corresponding to the Python code, right? Um, uh, you know, enter your income. Uh, well, this will uh, get the income into the marital status. You will get the marital status and then tax one equals zero, tax two equals zero. And what I would like you to do is to enter the if statements here to compute the total tax equal tax one plus tax two. OK, the total tax to be tax one plus tax two. Feel free to look at your code in Python. Feel free to look at your code in Python. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you five minutes. Ashraikum, let me give you five minutes uh, to try to write the if statement. Let me give you five minutes to try to write the if statement. Okay, Shabab. Yeah. Uh, uh, go ahead and start. And if you finish, uh, put your code uh, on the chat. Uh, the first one that that I see, which seems reasonable. I will basically copy it to uh, the uh, online uh, C compiler 
and we run it together. Okay? Yeah. Let me put five minutes on my stopwatch. Shall I put on the chat the, the code for you who are not opening Jupyter Notebook and are just lying on bed? Let, let me do it. Can you see it on the chat, yes, Shabab? I've just posted the um, I have just posted the uh, uh, the code. Uh, oops, it seems I did not post all the code. Let me let me do it again. I don't know. Is it possible that I can delete this? Well, let me edit it. OK. OK, Shabab, I edited it. Now it is uh, it is full. So let me go back. I went back too much. Let me go back here. And this is the if statement that I would like you to develop. Uh, one and a half minutes left. One and a half minutes left. Should do should do it, come here, Shabab.
اه يا شباب ال5 minutes are finished shall i wait a couple more minutes Hi, Shabab. Uh, give me some feedback. Uh, how far are you from finishing? Hello? Naimin Shabimkin. Huh? Naimin Shabimkin. Tayyib, what's your name? أنا والله توني حتى أنا توني صحيت من النوم جيت نسيت إن في كلاسات اليوم. دكتور. نعم. <تصفيق> شخصيا أنا ما قد جربت أسوي كودينج في السي وحتى اللاب ما بعد ناخذ الكودينج حتى في السي. طيب سو ف... وات؟ الإف ستيت ممكن يكون صعبة شوي معقدة الحين لو إنها ليستد بعد. ليش؟ طب أنيبودي إلس إز تراينج يا شباب؟ أي دونت ونت تو ستارت فروم سكراتش. Anybody has tried to write something who he didn't finish? Yani if, if somebody did, uh, yani tried to write something and he did not finish, uh, uh, let him share with us whatever you have written. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue it. Oh, you should not leave me any five minutes or more than five minutes, and if you're not doing anything. Uh, doctor, I've wrote something, but uh, it might be completely wrong. Is that okay? Hi, hi, hat lunch. Okay, let's uh, I control. Well, uh, in fact, I didn't copy the I did not copy the code yet. So let me first copy the code. Control C and let's take it to the Compiler. Now we copy up it as we so. so C and then enter the F statement. Well, control V. Fine. So, so basically, um, let's try to indent. Uh, as I said, this is not uh, obligatory, this is optional. So if Maritel, uh, it should be, 
if marital status is equal to single, right? And now we have another if statement. If income is less than or equal to rate one single limit. When is rate one single limit? Hey, your rate one single limit is 32,000. Rate one married limit is 64,000. So if income is less than or equal to rate one single limit, uh, we have tax one equals rate one multiplied by rate one multiplied by income اللي هو rate one اللي هو 10% صح؟ هي rate one. This is 10%. Okay. طيب. Here the only thing that you forgot here is you forgot the semicolon because you got used to writing Python code. Python does not require anything at the end of the at the end of the statement. So maybe that's uh, maybe that's why. So tax one is rate one uh, multiplied by income. Else, now we will compute uh, tax one, which is rate one multiplied by rate one uh, single limit. And then tax two is again here we need the semicolon, صح? and then tax two is um, uh, rate two multiplied by uh, the income minus rate one single limit. Right. What else did you forget here, ya Abdul Aziz? Uh, these two are part of the else, صح? Yes. What did you forget? I don't know. You forgot the the braces because this is a compound. This is a compound statement. This is how we do compound statements in C. Okay. Uh, here, it was only a single statement, صح? Yes. Uh, that's why I didn't need. That's why I didn't need, you know, the uh, uh, the curly brackets. But here I need the curly. Here I need the curly bracket. So okay. So we have two or more lines in the and the if or else. We use the braces. Exactly. If okay. you have two or more statements. If you have two or more statements, whether in the if or in the else. You will need to use the curly braces. You need to use the curly braces. And of course, uh, uh, this is if marital status equal S. Uh, else. Else. And uh, here, uh, what I will do is. Um, uh, 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 I can check whether marital status is equal to. Uh, um, uh, uh, M, right? Uh, ah, there's another mistake. Shuf, so see what did you use for the S? The marital status can of which type? Character, right? The marital status is of type character. One quotation, sir. Ah, you are one quotation. We need here one quotation. Okay. So uh, else and. If you want, you can skip the uh, 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 you can skip the um, uh, the condition because if it's not single, then you can assume that it is uh, uh, it, it is married. And now uh, you basically uh, copy paste this uh, with uh, the changes uh, 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 that are related to the uh, to the married. So if income is less than or equal to rate one now instead of single limit, what do we have? We have married limit, right? Then uh, tax one equal rate one multiplied by uh, multiplied by income. Else tax one equal rate one multiplied by uh, rate one. And here we have the married limit, and again we have the married limit. Okay, that's Doctor, it. 
after نعم. each uh, line in the else or if we mm. put after it a semicolon yes yes okay. we 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 put a semi uh, as an end of the statement as an end of the statement we put a semicolon we did not use we did not need any semicolons in python because uh, in python we do indentation and we assume that you know uh, when you go to the next line that's an the, that's another statement uh, I, I, unless you indicate that this is a continuation okay unless you indicate that this is a continuation okay so this is kind of you know uh, an idea of you know what the if statement uh, what the if statement looks like it's exa ex exactly similar oh by the way we forgot also one more thing hi shabab Doctor, about the curly brackets. Aywa. Here, في واحدة فوق. في واحدة هنا. Aywa. Ah, we we did not we did not close it, صح? Yes. So this is the question. Where should we? Ah, uh, okay. Now it's clear. Now, you're absolutely correct. And the last thing that we forgot uh, is, remember that the condition of the if statement has to be between brackets. The condition has to be between between brackets. OK, why uh, is it only the first one? Uh, say that again. Why is it only the first one? Uh, because I didn't check the second one. I didn't see the second one. It's all of them. Oh, OK, and there is also one. Uh... Yeah. OK. Shall we try to compile and run and see whether uh, it is uh, we made any other mistake? Uh, please enter your income. Uh, let's say uh, um, so twenty thousand, and let's assume that single that's two hundred. Well, it's it's it seems uh, our code seems correct, sir. Huh? Uh, let's let's try it for um, forty thousand. So this is forty thousand, and this is single. Adesha, Adesha, as I'm going to add that the thirty-two. Uh, Ten percent of thirty-two thousand, so it will be thirty-two hundred, and then uh, twenty-five percent of our quarter of the uh, difference, right? So does it seem? Yeah, I think it's correct. Uh, it's correct. Okay, so it is five thousand two hundred. Okay, five thousand two hundred. Bye. So this is good. Right. So now let's go to loops. Let us go to loops. Um, uh, let's start with the while loop. It turns out that the C while loop uh, uh, is, is going to be really familiar to you because it shares the same syntax rules with the C uh, with the C if statement. And it also, you know, uh, semantically, it is also like the, the while loop that we have covered in, in Python, right? So uh, first of all, parentheses are required for the expression, uh, for the, the condition uh, uh, that, is, that comes after the while loop. And the curly brace, braces delimit a block which is required for a compound statement. So if you have more than one statement in the while loop, you need to use the curly braces. You need to use the curly, the curly braces. So this is an example of a while loop. While x is less than five, you know y equals z plus x, x equals x plus one. Okay. So if we assume that x was equal to zero before, you know this will be executed um, uh, one, two, uh, three, four. Uh, so 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 the body will be executed four times. The condition will be executed five times. Okay. 
so let so let's look at this uh, uh, let's look at this example and i think maybe this example was seen before in uh, uh, earlier I'm, well i'm not sure if it if, if it was seen before but this is basically uh, to uh, uh, enter the number of employees um, uh, so uh, we we enter the number of employees for, for whom we are going to you know enter their uh, number of hours so compute each employee's pay and add it to the payroll. So how do we do that? Well, uh, uh, we we basically print F, you know, the, the number of hours. I will get the number of hours here, uh, which is uh, a, a double. And then the, the rate per hour. Uh, uh, again, this is a double, which is the rate. And you, you see here that don't forget the ampersand. Uh, so that it is, it gets stored in 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 hours, and this gets stored in rate. Once you have the the number of hours and the rate per hour, you can compute the pay by multiplying hours mu multiplied by by rate, and then you get the uh, uh, the total pay. And we have here basically two lines, you know, uh, uh, to um, Two lines, two empty lines, you know, uh, one end of line and then another line, uh, another empty line will be displayed. And finally, uh, we add the pay to the total pay and uh, we ca we add one to the number of employees because we need to include this number, uh, uh, this number of employees. Uh, we will enter the hours and and the rate. And finally, uh, after you finish, you know, uh, uh, all the employees uh, while count, uh, wh while the number of employees is less than the total, uh, the, the total is basically stored in num number of employees. So once it becomes th uh, the same, this means that, you know, we have processed all of them. And the reason uh, we say less than, not less than or equal is we can, we are starting the count uh, from zero. We are starting the count from zero and therefore uh, you put here the total uh, uh, payroll uh, which is basically you add the total amount you basically add the total amount so this is basically the the while loop right this is basically the while loop let's uh, let's run it and see what uh, what do we get see Uh, control A, Control V, okay. So, uh, so let's do F9. <coughs> so now, enter the number of uh, uh, enter the number of employees. So now I would like to enter. Let's say I'm going to enter three employees here. Uh, so I will enter the hours for the first employee, let's say uh, 100 hours, and the rate is, you know, $10 uh, per hour. Uh, so this is the pay for the first one, which is 1,000. Uh, the second one is uh, 200, and the rate is eight. So the next one is 1,600. And finally, um, uh, let's say 220, and the rate is 10.5. So uh, this will give me the, the third one, which is $2,310 for the pay. And then finally, I will add, you know, uh, the 1,000, 1,600, and 2,310 to get the 4,910. This is basically the total. Okay, so, so the... The while loop in uh, in C in in C is not you know different from the while loop in in Python. So I have a while, I have a condition, and then I have the body of the while loop. So how does execution work? Well, I will first check the condition. If the condition is false, I will skip all this and I will continue execution uh, uh, after the body of the while loop. If if the condition is true. What do I do? I go inside the body of the while loop. I execute all statements 
in the body of the while loop. And then once I reach the end, I go back and check the condition. If the condition is true, go ahead and continue. Enter the body and execute. If the condition is false, we will come here. Okay, Shabab. So any question on the uh, any question on the while loop? Any question on the while loop? Right. Now for the for loop, uh, things are a little bit different uh, 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 in C than in Python. Than in Python, and this is one uh, 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 you know uh, one uh, one place where you will you know. Uh, you will say, I, I, I wish we did not go to C and we stayed in, in Python. Python provides nicer ways of handling, uh, uh, of handling for loops. OK, so, so, so basically, uh, and, and this is what I will do today. And uh, uh, inshallah, we will continue, yani, uh, we'll continue <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, 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 this is the for loop. You know, when I say for x in range 5, and I execute, this is the body of the for loop in Python. Uh, print inside the loop x equals, okay? When I go outside the for loop, when I go outside, the, what will be the value of x in Python? In this code? 4. 4. four. four. Huh? The, the, the value will be 4. Less, then no, x goes from 0 to 4, Inside the loop, x equals, you know, it's going to print x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And when, when it goes outside, the last value that was assumed by x was 4. So, so, so this should give me, this should give me, you know, outside the loop, x equals 4. Whereas, whereas here, if you look at this code in C, let's bring this code to the compiler. Control C and let's go here. Right. Now, what is, uh, uh, how do I interpret this for loop? Well, th this for loop is interpreted as follows. Okay. In the for loop, I have in between brackets, I have three statements uh, separated by two semicolons. The first one is what we call the initialization. This will be executed only once. OK, so 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 I will execute X equals zero. And then I will I will check the condition in the second statement. Is zero less than or equal to four? The answer is yes. So what do I do? I go inside the body of the for loop. Now, since I don't have curly braces here, the body of the for loop consists of only one 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 statement, one line. So uh, I will print inside the for loop X equals and the first one is zero. And then after I execute this, now I go to this one here. Now, what do you think X++ will do? Updates by, I think, one. It will increment the value of X by one, so X will be equal to one. Right. After I do this, I go and check again. This is done only once. Now, I check the condition, true, execute, do update. Check the condition. Yes, execute, do the update. Okay, type. When x becomes equal to 4, is 4 less than or equal to 4? True. True. Yes. I will go and I will execute the for loop. I will write 4. Type. After I finish, I will come here. What will the value of x happen to the value of x? 5 and exceeded Five. the condition. Uh, it became five, and five is not less than or equal to four. It will come outside. It will print the value of x, ish, yeah, shabab. Five. The value of x is equal to five. Sir, can a while loop move for loop? Uh, yes, you are right. You're absolutely right. It looks like a while loop, a while loop, but it's packaged in a nice way. Okay, uh, a while loop, but it is packaged in a nice way. Uh, uh, so inshallah, uh, we will do that uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will see, you know, the details of uh, uh, the details. Yani, uh, uh, explicitly, we will see the details of the photo.
واضح يا شباب؟ Any question before we uh, uh, before we break? Uh, yes, عندي سؤال. تفضل. Um, how do I increment by two? How do I increment by two? Well, instead of x plus plus, you can you can either say x equal x plus two, or you can say x plus equal two. We will see the the other form in Allah Bukra tomorrow. تمام كيف حط شو اسمه domain بالx يعني for x a list or something. Say that again. كيف حط مثلا زي for x and list مثلا. And, oh, I told you, you will love, uh, you, you will miss Python a lot. Uh, <laughs> we don't, we don't have that in C. Ma, here? values for x. Just like this, you know, uh, just like what uh, Abdul Aziz, you know, uh, uh, mentioned. The, the, the for loop is very similar to the while loop, uh, but it's uh, different packaging. لا طيب مثلا لو ابغى الاكس مثلا بتكون معلومه او مجموعه من بيانات ارقام يعني كلها انتجرز اوكي انتجرز ات كان بي فلوت بيكوز ات ديبندز اون ذا كونديشن صح اي صح ف ذس كان بي اولسو فلوت بس يوجوالي يوجوالي ذا فور لوب ذا 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 فاريبل از ان از ان انتجر يعني يوجوالي فور لوب مينز ذات يو اتريت Uh, an integer number of times. You, you usually do not put. Doctor. The first initialization here, x equals zero, mm. and then the condition, I think mm. it acts like the range. It acts like the range. Well, yeah, it does. In fact, it does act like the range. But it's different from the range. As you see, uh, the range, the value of x does not exceed the range. There is no concept of, you know, I'm adding and then when I go outside the loop, I go outside the loop because the value of x exceeded the range. لا. The range means the, the, the values of x in Python will assume from 0 to whatever you have specified. صح? Yes. Here, here no. Here, as long as this condition is true, uh, you will uh, you will execute the body. Once this becomes false, and the only way that this is going to become false is that the value of x will be outside the range. صح ولا لا? Yes. But that's why it's, it's 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 totally different. Okay. Yes. يلا يا شباب إن شاء الله نراكم آخر. تمروا بإذن الله سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك شهد الله لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم